Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I thought it would be fun to show you how I make this gorgeous peony fairy using supplies from my Valentine's Day kit. So whether you purchase one of my flower fairy kits um, or have your own supplies, I hope you get tons of inspiration from this gorgeous doll. Here is another one of the dolls I made using the same supplies from this kit. Uh, the kits are awesome because it's everything you need to make a flower fairy, so you don't have to worry about uh, finding all the supplies. Um, I know flowers can be tricky to find. So the kit's awesome because you get everything you need to make a fairy. And in this kit, you actually get three different fairies. Uh, this peony is probably one of the most beautiful flowers I've found uh, for fairy making. It's so pretty. So these are the supplies um, that I'll be using from the kit. Here is a close-up of this flower and look at those variegated petals. I love the deeper burgundy red color and the deep plum purple and then that really pretty mauvey pink. It's just such a gorgeous flower and it has so many beautiful layers that you can use. Um, I'll be using the dark red thread from the kit and then this beautiful glitter blend. It has uh, bigger chunky pieces of glitter and super fine iridescent glitter and it's so pretty. It just screams Valentine's Day. And then the kit comes with three different crystals. Um, I'm going to show you some different options with these crystals but it comes with a deep red, a pink, and then a diamondy colored iridescent uh, crystal. And then the supplies. So it, in each kit, you get to pick a wooden bead. It comes with floral wire, some embroidery floss for the skin. And there are three skin tones you can pick from. And then um, embroidery floss for the hair. And there are actually uh, four different hair colors you can pick from. So you can see I've already twisted my doll together. I have tons of tutorials that break down each step for fairy making. Those will all be linked below. You can see I've already styled her hair. This is the braided updo. You can style your doll's hair however you'd like. I have tons of different hairstyles on my YouTube channel. I will link a playlist of hairstyles below. The other supplies of your own that you'll need is some craft glue and a paintbrush. This is how we're going to attach the glitter to our fairy doll. I have some E6000 glue. This is to put the little crystal on the doll. I think this glue works the best. And a little toothpick to help us put that on. I've got my sharp scissors and of course my trusty glue gun set on low. Okay, let's get started. So I've taken all the supplies from my kit and I've twisted my cute little fairy doll. Remember there are three different skin tones you can pick from and four different hair colors. So it's fun, you can really customize these dolls. And then I'm taking this dark red thread and I'm wrapping it right up to underneath her arms and I'm giving her a little pair of shorts. And this is what we've got so far. And then I'm going to set her aside and I'm going to grab my flower. Now a tip with this flower, there is a little bit of glue holding the bottom layer two layers together. So be careful when you pull that apart and I just actually end up throwing that away. And then I'm going to awkwardly pull this flower apart and you can see all these gorgeous fluffy layers of petals. Um, it's fun. You can mix it up a couple different ways. You can use the bigger petals on the top of her skirt for the top layers to give her a more flowy skirt. Um, I decided to use the more ruffly petals at the top of her skirt to make it just fluffier and more ruffly. And you can see you get tons of petals. So then you just fold it in half, hold it up to your doll to see if you like the way that it looks. And here is a close up of those petals. I love the texture in this, in the petals on this flower. It's just so beautiful. So once you're happy with how it looks, you're going to grab a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut an X into the center of each petal. This will allow us to slide the petals up and around our doll's waist. So I do that with all of the layers. And then you're going to grab your doll and slide the petals, starting with the top layers of her dress. You just slide them up and around her waist. And I actually um, didn't end up using the bottom layer. I ended up taking it out later because it was just too fluffy. It was too much. So I ended up just taking that and only using a few of those longer layers. And look at how gorgeous this looks. Then I'm grabbing my glue gun and I'm going to add small dabs of glue to start attaching the petals together. Now, I had someone ask me a really good question recently. She asked if I glue the petals together or do I glue them directly to the doll? I do both. So 
At first, I just start using tiny dabs of glue to get the flowers to lay nicely on top of each other. And once I have them arranged, I go back and I add more dabs of glue um, and that that I put directly on the doll to attach the skirt to the doll. I hope that makes sense. And then I go back through, add more dabs of glue. One other trick is as I'm going back and um, making sure that the petals are laying nicely, I will take my hand up under the doll and hold her from underneath and press the petals down from the top. And this just helps to shape her skirt. And what do you guys think? Isn't it so beautiful? Um, then we're going to give her a pair of shoes. And once again, I'm using the stark red. Uh, the other two colors that come in the kit are a cream and a pink. And both of those would also be really pretty to use for her clothing or her shoes. You could also do a pair of gloves. Then I'm going to grab my Mod Podge. Any craft glue will work. And I'm going to add a very generous layer of the glue right around her waist. Uh, the reason you want to use a lot of glue is because there are chunkier, uh, bigger, heavy pieces of glitter in this blend. You want to make sure you have enough glue to hold the glitter down so it's not falling off. And then I take my glitter and sprinkle it right over the glue and tap it down gently with my fingertips. And then tap the excess back into my little container. And then I go back through and add more glue and more gl glitter anywhere that I feel needs it. I like using the paintbrush because it does give you so much control over where the glitter ends up. And this is a close up. Isn't that glitter plant just gorgeous? Now I wanted to show you. So here are the three crystals. Here is the lighter iridescent crystal. This is what it would look with the pink crystal. And then with the darker red crystal. I like the pink because it matches that mauvey pink in her skirt. And here it is with the darker red crystal, which I think is just beautiful and dramatic and so pretty. I, um, you can also put them in her hair, which is another fun option. The kit comes with three crystals. You can use all three on one doll if you want, or use one on each doll. Totally up to you. There's so many ways to customize this. I decided to use the iridescent crystal. So I'm taking my E6000 glue and my toothpick and I'm taking a little bit of that glue, putting it directly on the doll. And then I'm going to use the tip of the toothpick to put that crystal right over the glue. And then I'm just arranging that glue or the crystal right in the center and getting off any of the excess glue. And then I decided she needed one more thing. So I wanted to add something to her hair. So I grab, I grabbed the centerpiece of the flower and I just cut a little tiny piece, held it up to her hair. I decided I wanted it a little bit smaller. So I actually cut what looks like a tiny, tiny petal. And then I dipped it in glue and then dipped it in the glitter. And I should have used the E6000 glue to put this in her hair, but I just grabbed my glue gun, added a tiny dab of glue. I did go back and add a little bit more um, of the chunky pieces of glitter to that little hair piece that we've just created for her. And that's it guys, what do you think? I think she's so beautiful. Such a fun Valentine's Day project. If you're interested in purchasing a fairy kit, there will be a link to my Etsy shop below. I have several different types of kits available and I'm working on some really fun ones for spring and summer. Um, and if you have your own supplies and just make your own fairies, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I hope it gave you some fun tips and tricks that you can use with your own fairies. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It helps me out so much. And, uh, Give this a thumbs up if you liked it and possibly share it with a friend that loves crafting and fairy making. If you have any comments or questions, post those below. Um, I love hearing from you guys. I love seeing your fairies. So if you want to share those with me on Instagram, you can do that with the hashtag untidy artist fairy doll. And that's it guys. Thanks so much. I appreciate your support and we'll see you next time.